little flamingos little flamingos little flamingos little flamingos little flamingos little flamingos my name is George and I'm a storyteller hello everybody and welcome to little flamingos little flamingos happens every wednesday at 11 a.m on zoom courtesy of gunnersbury park and museum it's entirely free all you have to do is click on the link in the description and you can book on it's going on until the beginning of october every wednesday at 11 a.m and just so you know gunnersbury park and museum are open Thursdays through to Sundays on these hours. I'm going to tell you a story now. It's called The Apple Tree Man. I start stories by singing the Once Upon a Time song and you can join in with some actions with me. When I say Once Upon a Time, you say hi. Once Upon a Time, hi. Very good, let's do it again. Once Upon a Time, hi. Here comes the Once Upon a Time song. Long, long, long ago, long, long, long ago, long, long, long ago, once upon a time. Hi. Very good. Dark and stormy night, dark and stormy night, dark and stormy night, once upon a time. Hi. Sail the seven seas, sail the seven seas, sail the seven seas, once upon a time. Hi. Once upon a time, there was a farm. It was brilliant. It had fields, it had ponds, it had woods, and it had animals. Would you like to meet an animal? Here comes one. When you see the animal, you can make the noise of it. Here it comes. What noise does that make? What is it? It's a... It's a pig! Here comes another animal. Okay. When you see the animal, make the sound. Here it comes. What is it? Quack, quack, quack. It's a... It's a duck! Here comes one of my favourites. Okay, can you make the noise of this one as it comes along? Ba -a 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 -a. Ba -a -a -a. Yes, it's a sheep and the sheep. It's got wool, look. Let's take the wool off the sheep. Oh, I love doing that. Doesn't have any wool. Let's put the wool, let's put the wool back on. Here we go. There you go. I've got a song about sheep, and I think you know it. It's Bar Bar Black Sheep. Let's sing it together. Bar bar black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, and one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. I've got a couple more animals for you to, to see. If you can make the sound of them, as they come along. That'd be good fun. Here comes one. Oh, what's that? Ee-oh! Ee -oh, it's a donkey! And here's the last animal. It's a cow. It's a cow. As well as having loads and loads and loads of animals, this farm had an orchard. What's an orchard? Oh, well, it's a bunch of trees. It's a bunch of apple trees. Each of those there, they're all apples. A whole load of apple trees together is an orchard. It was a big orchard. There were stories about the orchard. Some people said that there was treasure buried in the orchard. People were always going around looking for it, but they could never find the treasure. Some people said that if you wanted to find the treasure, 
what you had to do is you had to go to the cow shed on Christmas Eve, just as Christmas Eve was turning into Christmas Day, and have a listen. Because then the cows would stop going and the cows would start talking like people and they'd say where the treasure was. But nobody believed that. I mean, that's just a story, isn't it? This story is about two brothers, Jack and Ralph. Jack was really hard working around the farm. Jack really, really liked to get up early <sighs> and then he'd look for something to do. Like maybe there was some digging which he needed doing. Shall we do some digging together? OK. Have you got your spade? OK. Dig. 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 Or maybe there's some picking to do. We're going to pick some fruit. Let's do it. Pick. 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 Always hard working. Always a smile on his face. Now, Ralph, Ralph was lazy and he was mean. He had a face like this. He liked to sleep a lot. So shall we try and sleep with a Ralph face on? Ralph and Jack should have owned the farm together. But Ralph had tricked Jack and had stolen the farm. So all Jack had was the orchard and the shed. But Jack didn't mind because he had something to work on. He loved the orchard and he looked after it really, really well. If there were sticks coming out, which weren't good for the tree, he'd prune them and he can do this like this. What he did as well is there'd be loads of brambles and nettles and stuff growing around the trees at the bottom. So he got an old cow and an old donkey and they would eat all around the trees to make sure that there was no brambles and nettles. And also their manure would make sure that the trees would grow really, really well. When it came to picking time, Jack would work from morning till night, getting up taking all of the apples from everywhere. If you've got an apple, you can pretend to be an apple tree. What you do is you hold your hand like this, and this is the branch, and this is the apple at the end. And then you can go, oh, I love the apple. You can be like Jack, look. And it's picked. Jack was very grateful to the orchard. And every Christmas Eve, he wanted to say thank you. So he did it in the only way he knew how. What he did, has he got an apple? You can do this as well. You hold on to the apple like this and he squeezed it and he squeezed it and he squeezed it and he squeezed it and he squoze it. Oh, oh. Are you making the sound as well? And out dip, came some apple juice. Put the apple juice into a bottle and he went to the oldest apple tree in the orchard and Jack poured the apple juice all over the oldest apple tree in the orchard and he said thank you thank you apple tree thank you for all of the wonderful harvest and then jack would go back to his shed and he'd make sure that his old donkey and his cow were well looked after in their little stable next to the shed now ralph had the whole farm but he was lazy so all the ground was hard and cloggy and Ralph was jealous of Jack, even though Jack didn't have anything. Ralph was like this. Can you be like that? It's not fair. Jack's got an orchard and I want it. I'm going to take it. So on Christmas Eve, one year, Ralph went over to Jack and said, I've looked at the rules and I'm afraid, Jack, that unless you can give me a hundred pounds, you're going to have to leave tomorrow. And Jack went, but it's Christmas Day tomorrow. I don't have the money. And Ralph went, I'm afraid you're going to have to go. Those are the rules. If you don't have the money, you're going to have to go. Come and knock on my door at the farm 
just before midnight because I want to come and check that everything's OK before you leave. Actually, Ralph remembered the story about the treasure. And the thing was, is he wanted to go and have a listen to see if the cow would speak and say where the treasure was, just as Christmas Eve came to Christmas Day. But he didn't tell Jack that. And then Ralph went away, leaving Jack feeling really sad. Can I see you feeling sad? I've worked really hard and it's not fair. I don't have anything. Who's going to look after donkey and cow? Who's going to look after the orchard? He was very sad. For one last time, he took an apple and he squoze it and he squoze it and drip. Out came some apple juice. And one last time, he went to the apple tree and he poured the apple juice on the apple tree and he went, Thank you, apple tree. Thank you. And then the strangest thing happened. There was a fizzy sound like this. Fizz. Can you make that sound? Fizz. And then, and out from the apple tree, as if there was a magic door, came a little man. He was tiny. Instead of having hair like people, he had leaves. His skin was green and his eyes were green. And he said, I'm the apple tree man and I'm really pleased with you, Jack. Jack, you have looked after the orchard so nicely and you've been so kind to donkey and to cow that I am going to give you a reward. And with that, the apple tree man went to the tree and lifted it up oh, and said, look under the tree. And Jack looked under the tree. Oh, my goodness. It was a box. Jack opened the box. And in the box was the most beautiful, glistening treasure. Oh, my days. All of this gold and silver and stuff. Jack was so happy. Thank you so much. No, thank you, said the apple tree man. But make sure that your brother Ralph doesn't find out you've got the treasure. Otherwise, he'll take it from you. And with that, with a fizz and a boop, the apple tree man was gone. Jack was so pleased. He ran back to his shed and he counted out a hundred pounds from the treasure. And then he took the box and he hid it underneath his bed. It was coming up to midnight, so he ran up to the uh, he ran up to the farm and he knocked on the door. And Ralph was there going. Well, I suppose it's goodbye, brother, said Ralph. You're going to have to go because you don't have the hundred pounds. But Jack went, nope, I've got the hundred pounds. Here you are. I guess I get to stay. Ralph was really angry mm, because Ralph wanted to have the orchard and now he couldn't. But he still wanted to go and have a listen to see if the cow and the donkey talked and said where the treasure was. So Ralph said, you stay here. I'm going to inspect the orchard. And with that, Ralph went down. He went down to the shed and the little stable where the donkey and the cow were. And he put his ear sneakily next to the window. And just then, midnight on Christmas Eve turned to Christmas Day. And would you believe, but would, and would you believe it? The stories were true. The cow stopped going moo and the donkey stopped going ee-aw and they went hello, hello. They talked just like people. How's your year? Lovely. How's your year? Lovely. The donkey and the cow talked for a while and then the donkey said to the cow, so what about that treasure then? And the cow said, yes, that treasure. Oh, do you know where it is? Said donkey and cow said, of course I know where it is but I'm not going to say where it is. Why is that, said Donkey? And Cow went, because that good-for-nothing, lazy, cheaty Ralph is sneakily listening at the window. Ralph had been found out by a cow and a donkey. He stood up. He was so angry. He went, how dare you? Tell me where the treasure is. And do you know what? The cow went, moo, and the donkey went, but it was almost like they were laughing at Ralph. 
and Ralph stormed up back to the farm and he closed the door. And that's the last we'll ever hear of Ralph. But Jack, well, Jack, he came back down and he had all the treasure. And with the treasure, he bought the orchard and his own farm. But every single year at Christmas Eve, he'd always go to the oldest apple tree in the orchard and he'd always pour apple juice on it and say thank you to the apple trees. And he always looked after his donkey and his cow. So Jack and donkey and cow. Well, well, they all lived happily, happily, happily. Well, they all lived happily ever after. And now we're going to sing a song about a farm. I think you know it. It's called Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm there was a cow. What noise does a cow make? Moo. E-I-E-I-O. A moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a cat. What noise does a cat make? Meow. E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a chicken What noise does a chicken make? Buck, buck, buck E-I-E-I-O With a buck, buck here and a buck, buck there Here a buck, there a buck, everywhere Buck, buck Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Oh, I've got a favourite song. It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Do you know it? It goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are And now it's time for us to do some craft It's time for us to make paper trees just like just like this one here it's very easy and it's really good fun we're going to make a tree what you need for this is one piece of A4 paper a green pencil a brown pencil a pair of scissors and some sticky tape now, only use scissors with adult supervision. So the first thing you do to make a tree is you take your piece of A4 paper and you fold it like this. It's a bit like a card. On the inside of the card, just here, you use the brown pencil it in. You can colour it in however you like and what you're doing is you're making the bark of the tree. If you want, you could draw a little hole and in that hole you could have a bird coming out or something like that. But I'm just going to crack on. Okay and now you fold it over like that. So inside is the brown. That's going to be the bark of the tree. And now we're going to make the leaves. Now you can make leaf shapes if you like. You could even draw fruit, whatever you like. Now here comes the bit with the scissors. So once again, I'm just going to say, make sure there's grown-up supervision for this. 
you cut along the page with the green. And now we're going to make the tree. What you do is you unfold it and you roll Get yourself a little bit of sticky tape, like so. Stick it on. And there you have it. You have your own tree. Well, I hope you've enjoyed singing songs, storytelling and crafts. Hopefully you'll be back next week at Wednesday at 11 a.m. for Little Flamingos. Just click on the link if you want to join the Zoom or you can come and have a look at one of these recordings. And now... Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.